The Bar Leaders Conference teaches incoming presidents how to be a president. Uh, it, it's, a, an, it's a remarkable tool. I've been coming to the Bar Leaders Conference for 20 years, and what, or over 20 years, in, in one capacity or another. It's also an opportunity to learn the best practices of what other bars are doing. Uh, the current session right now is on pro bono, and the State Bar of Texas is perhaps the leader in pro bono and its efforts in the country. Uh, one of the important components of, of uh, the pro bono aspect is is the pro bono work uh, for veterans. Uh, one of the things that veterans tell me as uh, I go throughout the state, it's, well, it's nice to be appreciated and people tell me thank you, but we really need help. Veterans need help, not only veterans, but their families. Uh, when they come back from war, we've got uh, uh, incredible um, amount of bravery that goes on with veterans and their families, but basically they need legal help. And we have the unique ability to help them. That's the thing, is that it's easy for us, but to, sometimes for them it, it, they, it, it's life-changing. Um, for example, uh, I office next to an uh, organization called Front Steps in Austin, and their charge is to house homeless veterans. And what they tell me is that sometimes what stands between the veteran and being homeless is a little bit of legal advice, uh, a contract, calling the landlord, uh, just simple, a ticket that needs it hasn't been paid because a veteran cannot get into housing because a landlord won't let him in because this blemish on his record. They are thrilled to be working with uh, the state bar and Texas Lawyers for Texas Veterans. And um, we encourage people to come to the Bar Leaders Conference. We encourage you to um, do pro bono work. We encourage you to, to say more than thank you for your service to the veterans.